Hello people and welcome back to the Brits Top Table with Mastercard. The podcast where we welcome a star-studded lineup to come and chat around our Brits Top Table. I'm Sideman. And I'm Munya. And Sideman, you're absolutely right. If this was a restaurant, this would be the scintillating starter before the Brits buffet. It would be the tapas before the tada, the tantalising trailer before the absolute movie that's going to be the Brits 2021. Uh, as you said, I'm Munya, he is Sideman, and um, we did a little intro to ourselves last week, but I feel like there's something missing Yeah. because we actually have a... Uh, superpowers yes that we forgot to tell the world about yes but they're actually quite boring superpowers so maybe that make for quite a nice icebreaker my totally boring superpower is i can tell the difference between hot and cold water just from the sound of it running out the tap wow so like literally you're like daredevil Mm -hmm. like your your perception is different from other people yeah i can hear wetness you can hear wetness so you know you can hear warm wetness if you know aquaman that's the scene that they left out. Okay. The scene where someone turns on the tap and he goes, that's hot water, that is. Actually, speaking of like superheroes, like my superpower is that I'm quick. Right. But like that superpower sometimes lets me down because I'm quick at everything. Oh, right, I see. There's some things that you should take your time with mm. that I'm unable to. Like sort of food um, cooking. Yes, like cooking. Mm. Sometimes I don't savour the meal. I see. You know what I mean? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes... <laughs> Yo. Sometimes you, Yo. sometimes you leave a you leave a table with me unsatisfied is what I'm saying. Anyway, we move on. We move on. We, we speaking move on. about uh, quick finishers. No. Uh, well, okay. So speaking of superpowers, I've got another superpower. I can detect some incredible guests. Yes, in the incredible building. guests. Uh, this week joining us, uh, we have the coolest hip hop duo around. They've been nominated for not one, not two, but three Brit Awards. British group. British single and best breakthrough artist, but don't rush them. It's Young T and Bugsy. Yay! Cheese, 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 cheese. And they are joined by someone you may have seen on Love Island, may have oh. seen on Celebs on a Farm, but may have also seen dividing the internet with a food combination. And I quote this: She tweeted in 2015 that Marmite and poached eggs is a peng meal. It's Montana Rose Brown, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I still, wow. I still stand that, by that. Whoa, 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 whoa. No way. Let, let's jump straight in. That's like putting ketchup on Aki. <laughs> Explain yourself. No, genuinely. <laughs> it's, all, it's, all sounding, it's all sounding very Jamie Oliver at the moment. Genuinely, it is the I... best combination ever. Don't knock it till you tried it. It will change your life. I'm not going to put Marmite on an egg, Montana. You no, that's are. crazy. You have to. You have to. I... I... I don't like that. This is my problem with people that have suggestions like this. Number one, Montana, to the best of my knowledge, you're not pregnant, so there's no excuse. And you would have had to be pregnant from 2015 to now, so I don't understand the weird meal choices. Second of all, egg, right, on Marmite is wet on wet. That's not how food works. You're supposed to have one dry piece of food. On a, it's like, you know, when you have your burger and mm. then you have your mayo on it. That's that's The burger is dry. The mayo is wet. You're having a slippery egg on slippery marmite that's um, wet on wet. It doesn't work. Yeah, it does because you put it on a dry bit of toast. No. <laughs> yes. Dry bit of toast, poached eggs, marmite. Done. Sideman's done a whole 360 because he's just gone saying, oh, I, I finished my meal really quickly. And now you said, except when it comes to poached egg and marmite. That is a meal you finish even quicker because you just don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Young Tim Bugsy, yeah. obviously big fans of food. I assume you've eaten one, at one stage in your life. Uh, what do you think of poached egg and marmite? Well, I've never had marmite, you know, so... Uh, what? No. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I've never ever tried Marmite. I've never tried Marmite still. You have to go out of your That's way. A weird smell. The first time you try Marmite, it has to be a decision where it's like, okay, I'm going to find out how I feel about this. Yeah, and there's no need for that. You don't bump into Marmite, <laughs> is what I'm saying. You do in my house. <laughs> but uh, Montana, let's start with you. Uh, how do you feel about the new Love Island coming around? Do you feel like you lose some social equity every time a new one comes about? No, I feel like you gain some because people think that you're like the OG. So I'm very, okay. very excited. Okay, so in terms of the new Love Island, uh, I have to switch this back over to um, Young T and Bugsy. Would you guys go on? Uh, no, I don't. Mm. I, I wouldn't go no, on. No, I don't know, you know. I don't Why? know. Why? 
Uh, I think for reality shows, I think I've still got to live out the course of my music career before I go on reality shows, isn't it? Yeah. What about as a concept though? So if someone said to you, do you want to go on a villa, lots of good looking people, six weeks, eight weeks out there in Ibiza, wherever it is? I don't you know, you know. I don't know. Of course he would. I don't know. Of course he would be up for it. You <laughs> I don't know, you know. Oh, I just couldn't stand it. I wouldn't be able to stand it. All those girls, all those good looking people. No, no, they're, they're definitely lying. They would definitely be out there in Spain talking about, I got a text. No, don't no lie. I don't know, you know. I don't know. I think with Love Island, Love Island's cool and that, but I couldn't see myself on it. I'd just rather like watch it than, mm. than go on it, if that makes sense. I hear that. Young Tim Bugsy, did you guys invent the word um, Monclizzy? Because the first time I ever heard that was actually a couple of days ago from you guys. What is a Monclizzy? Mon- a Monclizzy is a Monclizzy. It's a Monclair, isn't it? Monclair coat. And that, is that like your code word for it? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah pretty. Don't, 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 don't you think that rolls off a bit more? Rolls off a bit better? Rolls off on your tongue a bit better? Monclizzy. It's a bit spicy, isn't it? Yeah. It's you know spice to it. No, it does sound you know good, I mean? man. It sounds like a villain from a James Bond film, doesn't it? <laughs> it's the opposite of a nickname, though, because it's actually longer than the actual word. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Still. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Still. I feel like Izzy is just an is just an addition, though. It's just additional mm. preservatives to something you could say. And Moon Izzy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mont Izzy, yeah, Bob yeah, Izzy. Yeah, yeah. So, what 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 <laughs> other brands? What other brands do you add Izzy on to the end of? I think it's just Mont Izzy that it works. Cause Mont Izzy's got that. Monk, then Clizzy. Yeah. Jamie you know I mean? no. Nissan has that, like that Ralph double Lur- thing. What about Ralph Larizzi? Yeah. That, that works quite nicely. I'd put Ralph Lizzy. Mm. I think Ralph Lizzy's yeah, yeah, a bit Ralph better. Lizzie. Ralph Lizzy. Yeah, yeah. Ralph Lizzy. Who, who, Mizzy? I've got the Ralph Lizzy on today. Do you know what I mean? That more about that Lonsdale Lizzy you get oh, me. Yeah, I'm about that Prime Lizzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Prime Lizzy. <laughs> That's a Prime Lizzy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Don't, don't actually, with them do you know what? That's, been, that, that's actually a sick trick because when you're there and you know you're wearing Primark's finest, they come over, you're like, no, nah, no, nah, this is Prime Izzy. And all of a sudden, boom, the levels go up. <laughs> uh, Montana, I want to go back to, to Love Island a second and ask you a question. Obviously, I, I asked all you guys, actually, if you had to do like a job, like a nine to five-esque job or something else, anything Ooh. else, what would you do? Oh, I think I'd be a paediatrician. You would touch people's feet on purpose? No, that's not someone's feet. It's someone that looks after kids. Paediatrician? It's a doctor and it, a doctor that specifically looks after children. We're going to cut that out. <laughs> Listen, don't we? No. <laughs> I, e- editor guy, I see you laughing like you just got a moment. You didn't just get a moment. <laughs> so press gonna, press on the marker button. We delete feet. that. We delete that is what I said. Let's move so, on. Go on, Montana. So, paediatrician. Yeah, I'd like to work with kids. I think that would be quite nice, quite fulfilling. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think that would be my... My alternate job route. Okay, that's a nice. You one. sound like you, you give it an acceptance speech for Mrs. America, like <laughs> <laughs> and world peace. <laughs> no, so what? It can't be something in music. No, you could be in music. Yeah, mm. yeah I think I probably I probably be an A and R. Yeah. I probably be an A and R. A manager. A manager. I'd love to be an A and R. I'd probably be a manager yeah. if I'm still in music. What about this then? Congratulations, so- guys, and very generic answers so close to your career. <laughs> <laughs> So Young Team Bugsy, you've got a song called New Shape. And in the beginning of that song, we actually see you as car salesman. Before the fame hit, right? Before you were, you know, rocking Monclizzy. Yes. You both worked in KFC, is that correct? It was an experience though, it was an experience. It was an experience. How was that? (laughs) But it was like like 16, 16, 17. One of our first, couldn't really get a job anywhere else. That was the only job. And then we got another job. Mm. We did two jobs. We worked at KFC yeah. and we worked at a factory at making pork pies. Mm. So we just did yeah. two jobs back and forth, two jobs. Yeah, pork pies, pork farm, the pork farm factory. You were making pork pies? Yeah, man, pork pies. What, what? Pork farms. What, pork farm in a big factory. What, what? What did it smell like? You said like this room. Like this room. I find it so funny because you said you said pork pies and Munya <laughs> fell down and unknown key got up in excitement. <laughs> 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 no, listen, I just want to. I just wanted to know what 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 did you do in the pork pie factory? Like, yeah, you got to make the pastry. You got to make. You got to make do the pastry stuff in that. Yeah, pastry. Put the yeah. Put the meat in. Put the dough in. And it was freezing in there. It's freezing. It's actually mad that you could well win three Brit Awards this year. And everyone's gonna, and no one would know that you know how to make a pork pie from scratch. It's mm. uh, crazy, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Just a crazy. hidden treasure trove of, of talent. I actually only had my first KFC a few months ago. So, really? Oh my yeah, God. I did. 
Why is, said, that? How is, Why is it? that? Why is that? You mean what? First ever? Well, B- Bugsy's getting a defensive order. <laughs> <No. laughs> Why is that? I don't know. I've just said, I've always been a McDonald's gal. What can I say? So I thought, oh. you know what? I was in Scarborough, of all places, <laughs> near Yorkshire. And um, wow. I was like, you know what? Today is the day I'm going to try KFC. And I have to say, it was breathtaking, to say the <laughs> least. It was lovely. Pass it on to your old manager if you get a chance. I, uh, yeah. I've never heard someone say that about KFC still. That was breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. Do you guys still work there? <laughs> You're going to have to take it off your LinkedIn at this rate. Clear brand I, representatives. I, you know, I'm just not a rapper, man. They, don't, they, 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 they taught me a lot, innit? So, you know what I mean? They taught me a lot. It was a learning curve still. Nah, I hear you. You know that, man? Um, who did everyone fancy when they was younger? Uh, I don't want to do this because mine is wild. No, go on. <laughs> Was that Margaret Thatcher? No, Nala from Lion King. Let me explain. What? From Lion King? Let what? me explain. What? A cartoon me, animal. That's wild, just let me explain. That's wild. If you, if you he said, just, he said, he said Pumba from Lion King. King. If you just let me explain myself. <laughs> That, that's, no, listen, that's listen, spicy, that's spicy, listen, that one is, that's listen, spicy. That's dominatrix the way, still, that's dominatrix. The way they draw, the way they, <laughs> <laughs> listen, the way they draw, listen, the way, the way that they draw Nala, there's something about, like, go fam, back and look at a picture fam. of Nala. It's a, it's a feline, fam, I'm it's telling, a feline. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's a feline, brother. <laughs> Yes. Listen, man was th- listen, when, was okay, yeah. okay, okay, hold on, hold on. When Simba is all in the jungle, chilling with Timon and Pumba, he's grown up now and he meets Nala for the first time again and she kind of pins him down and she kind of looks down on him. Bro. There was something. You thought, I, you thought, I wish that was me. Yo, oh, what I'd, I what I'd give to be Simba right now. That's wow, well, literally. <laughs> Anyway, let's. I think it's safe to say we know what you're into. Mm. Yeah. No, so I'm telling. They draw a human like Montana. You kind of look like Nala. I'm telling you right now. Hey. So have you got any cats at home? Have you got any cats? Yeah. Listen, no, I, I don't, and I don't actually. Listen, okay, so watch it. When Sidema goes on safari, you have to keep him in the jeep as soon as they're right, past the female lines. With, with with Montana's um permission, put up a picture of Montana and then put up a picture of Nala. Yeah, and then we'll see. We'll oh see. We'll let the audience this decide. This is even worse. Yeah. So no, you know you think Montana, Montana looks like, like Nala. Nala's like a cat. fire. That's a big cat. <laughs> All right. I'm over this. I'm over this. Let's talk about somebody else's childhood crush. I don't completely hate it. The comparison. So, yeah. uh, Montana, who is your childhood, um, you know, dream crush? I always um, fancied Dwayne The Rock. Okay. Yeah. He is sensational. Yeah, that's a, that's a normal he one. He is sensational. Mm. He's actually, right. he actually looks you know, like he's improved with age. <laughs> I know, he does. He looks better with age. He looks amazing. Side man, you don't quite look like him, but it's fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, that was, a, that was a jab. <laughs> I resemble that remark. I mean, resent that Must remark. Resemble. <laughs> you resemble that <laughs> remark, you idiot. Joke, you know. <laughs> no. no, this guy is joke. <laughs> No, sad <laughs> um, The next game that we're going to be playing is our Guess Kazoo. <laughs> so not Guess Who, Guess Kazoo. Now, I think I've got Bugsy's thing, you know, I've got two. That's fine. Oh, you okay. can be his representative. I like how they assumed you lived together. That's quite yeah, nice, yeah, isn't yeah. it? That's quite nice. <laughs> Little bunk beds. What we're going to do is we're going to pop in our mouths like some sort of musical zoot. Yes. And then uh, <laughs> you're going to play some tunes... Well, in fact, Young Tim Bugsy, you can play some of your own tunes. Yes. And it's a competition between Sideman and I to guess the name of the tune first. Yes. Montana, you are also involved in this. So yeah. get your get your rhythmic, melodic... Yeah. Uh, reach, reach deep I'm into that discography scared. of yours. I just know I'm not going to be very good at this game, but I'm still fairly excited to hear people use their kazoo. Young T, as you're more musically inclined, we'll let you start off. So not to disrespect you, Montana. No, no, please don't start with me. That's good. We, we don't, we're not trying to disrespect your discography, but let's let... <laughs> So look, it should sound like this. Imagine I'm doing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So you're doing that, but with one of your tunes. Okay, one of my yes. songs. Okay. <clears throat> Ready, yeah? Jeez Louise. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of, this kind of, this, this kind of fruits. This kind of fruit still, kind of fruit bonish still. <laughs> Ready, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strike me a pose. Okay. Strike a pose. You got it, man. You got it. All right, cool. One note to me. Oh, that was so slow of me. Okay, Montana, Montana your turn. Montana, you go next. Oh, okay, here we go. Do, 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 do
Song. I know this song. Yeah, it sounds very familiar. That's kind of good, though. I don't know the name of the song. I got nothing. Okay, Montana, give us a clue. Song. Give us, give us a clue. What does, what does the name rhyme with of the person? No, it's by a band, and they are nominated for a Brit Award in British group. <laughs> Little Mix. Come Little on, Mix. Guys, yes. Yes. But well, what's the song? Uh, it's called What's the, the song. song? Your... It... It's a good question. It's called. <laughs> it's called confetti. Why are you looking at the producer? It's called confetti. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this job. We're only on episode two. Oh my god. What was the song called? Guys, it's sweet yeah, melody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet Jesus. Yes. 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 It was on the tip. It was on the tip of my tongue, like Nala. Um, right. Let's move on to the next song by Young T and Bugsy. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Next one from Young T and Bugsy. Oh, I know it. I know it. What is it? Oh, Location. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got it still. Oh, How did we not get that? Oh, it still. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know why. I know why we didn't get it. <laughs> That's why he did, it a bit higher. he did it in a he did it a bit no he did it a bit Ooh. lower. That's why I couldn't get it. Shall we do one for you to guess now, Dave? <laughs> and we'll do harmonies. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, wait, one second, one second. <laughs> okay, right here we go. You start off and then I'll get the harmony. You will know it straight away though. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Our harmony was was. Whether immaculate. we'll even be able to use that because of the name, we don't even know. But anyway, you did good. <laughs> home Nala, Home Nala, Home, home, home Lizzie, um, okay. Home Nala. <laughs> 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 right, that's funny still. <laughs> okay, well done. So I think out of that, who, I think I've maybe got one more than you. Yeah, you did. You did. You okay, did. cool. So yeah. that was Guess Kazoo. Yes. Uh, now, Young Team Bugsy. Uh, you are up for three awards. Yeah. So we've not really spoke about the Brits yet, but first of all, when you heard that, were you shocked? Were you surprised? Or did you feel like, thank goodness, we've been working so hard for so long, it was always going to happen? Uh, Where were you at? I was probably more in between like shocked and thank goodness. Like I was, I was still a bit shocked about it. Cause I thought, car with mm. with like award shows and things like that, like I, I feel like with our career so far, I don't think we've always really had like had like a look in. So like I've kind of got to the stage where I kind of expect not getting a look mm. in with award shows, isn't it? So it's like I don't, we don't really make music to yeah. for it to necessarily get nominated. So when it does get nominated, it's a bit like oh raw, like oh sick, isn't it? If that makes sense. But obviously with the Brits, that's a whole nother like level, isn't it? So man, man never really we didn't we just it wasn't level. wasn't even thinking about it. Like even though we knew the Brits was coming up, we wasn't thinking about oh yeah. we might mm. get nominated or anything like that. We was just. Do you know what I mean? So when we did hear it, it was a shock still, I can't lie. That's that's something within all of us sometimes though when we're in the creative space and we kind of find ourselves in new environments because this this song had become such a global phenomenon mm. so such an international spectacle and yet still it doesn't it didn't hit you that you might actually get yeah. nominated within your own country because sometimes we feel almost yeah. that imposter syndrome in certain spaces where we feel like ah yeah. we we're not supposed to be there yeah. though so in that moment it must feel even more amazing to you because it's it's yeah, the no. shock and then 100%. the awe of it all. 100%. Like, I'm really happy for Thank years, you, man. Really brother. happy Thank for years. You. you put out your own videos and stuff. I was having a look through some of the comments to see, like, yeah. what the gen reaction is. And people love your music. Yeah. A lot of the time people say, oh, you know, these guys are underrated yeah. and stuff. And I'm never quite sure how that feels for an artist. But having these awards now, how does that How does that make you feel? Does uh, it make you feel seen? Kind yeah. Of? yeah. Yeah. Yeah and no, because I feel like with us, I don't think, I don't think we really generally make music to win awards, innit? Like I, I I don't I don't I don't think we've ever been like an award no. mm. hungry like like duo or artist. I don't think that's ever been like our main thing. Like oh, trying to get all these awards. Like our thing is just mainly always just been putting out music that people like, innit? Like putting out music that really like it's really hitting. So I feel like the award thing has always just been more of a of a bonus. So like I wouldn't say it takes away the feeling of whether we're underrated or not underrated because you can you can have five hundred awards and still be underrated, innit? Do you know what I mean? Because even though even though you've um, yeah. won an award for this, it doesn't mean like you're being 
rightfully, yeah, 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 rightfully thingy. You know, resonate right with the, the people. Day, if something's only like, the only mm. right, it's only right. It doesn't mean, it necessarily means, oh, everyone rates your ting or everyone, you're necessarily the people's champ in it. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like with awards, awards and the accomplishment mm. of a rapper or accomplishment of like the stages of your career mm. is two different things. It's two different things, honestly. Mm. It's sometimes when... Yeah. you feel slept on or underrated and stuff it's easy to kind of cr- critique your own formula and think oh man is it because yeah. I'm doing something yeah. wrong is it because I'm not doing something quite right but what I've found out even in you know our, our own personal journeys is that sometimes you're doing everything right it's just that it has not yet been yeah. exposed yeah. to a large enough group yeah. of people and now you're up for these nominations I feel like yeah, everyone yeah. who's not heard of you is going to be like wait who are these guys yeah. Yeah. and they go there yeah, and the yeah, catalogue is full of bangers right, right, yeah. it's a win-win that's true. I think mm. what, it's one of the greatest marriages when you win in the culture yeah. and then you win yeah. with, with something a bit more industry yeah. as well. Like it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful mixture. Um, Now, obviously you guys are great at uh, striking the pose, but <laughs> who's even greater is Montana. Yes. Um, but Thank you. Uh, <laughs> recently you, you were moved from the plus backgrounds of the London landscape and you were on a farm because you, you did celebs on a farm. What was it like being on a farm? What are those things that you noticed in those moments that you wouldn't even that wouldn't have even got to television? Um, I think it's just the pure (laughs) amount of shit everywhere. Like, genuinely. It's just not something that I'm accustomed to, unfortunately. Um, So that was a bit of a shock to the system. Um, Also... It's, it's very hands-on like with these animals mm. and they're very large um, and they're very <laughs> aggressive. So it was it was quite hard. What was the most aggressive farm animal that uh, was left out of the old <laughs> McDonald's? <laughs> 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 what's, what's, what's the unseen, what's the untold story of old McDonald's is what I'm asking. <laughs> Why did he have a farm as in past tense? What animal drove him out? I reckon it was the rams, you know. You've got to check these rams testicles actually before they go out and mate with all the other sheep. Right, good and to it know. was Honestly, it was it was quite an experience. Their their testicles were actually very huge, and that is mm. that is from Another feeling. Yeah, from the listen. Mouth. I already have a complex when it comes to other men. You're not going to have me having a complex when it comes to other animals. All right, that's not what we're gonna. That's not what we're gonna do here. Uh, okay, so before we move into our penultimate game, yes. We've got uh, a little bit more, uh, a quick sort of Brits chat because Montana, you've been to the Brits for what? This will be this could be your what fourth year running? My fourth it? year. Yeah. Fourth year. Do you have any memorable moments that kind of always hmm. hype you up for the ceremony? And also Young Team Busy, I'm not sure if you've been before, oh, no. but just stand out memories from the Brits. What what are they like? Oh, uh, I went I went in twenty we went in twenty nineteen, innit? Twenty nineteen, yeah. We yeah, seen 19. we seen we seen we seen yeah. Dave pick up his thing, innit? <laughs> was that that, that is the most casual <laughs> explanation of picking up a Brits? No, no, no. We seen Dave pick up his thing, you get me like <laughs> It's pretty easy. <laughs> now I know what they're planning to do yeah, at the bridge. They're planning. Are you not like, planning to pick up your thing? Yeah, no. That that was a sick moment though. Like like I was just because I was thinking about it. And I was actually thinking about RR. Like we actually went there to see it. But no, that that's the only recent moment I can think of, isn't it? Mm. Okay, I have to ask a question now. Usually, if you guys win right and you go up there to do this speech, have you guys decided whether you're gonna go full blown? Because I feel like there's two routes people go. They either go really polished speech mm. or we are really going to make it look like we're from the ends and we're just happy to be here and we're talking <laughs> as colloquially as possible. Which do you think you will go for? Will it? Will there be Shakespearean English or will you literally stand on stage and say, thank you guys for giving me my thing. Appreciate it. Depends, Big up every man pies. on the Depends ends. Feel, Free man. my guys. Depends how we feel. <laughs> There is no way on God's green no, earth I'd step on that stage day, without still. a plan. Never. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, I, plan. I feel like we're like, spe- like with speeches and that. I, I don't think it's that hard, isn't it? I don't think it's that that hard. You just got to know what you want to, yeah. what you want to get across and get that across quickly, isn't it? <laughs> this is coming out, from the out. guy that said Dave picked up his thing. <laughs> 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 I know, I know. <laughs> Didn't know I had Barack Obama on the podcast. Uh, Montana, what about you? So memorable moments from the last three years. Um, I always think. It's amazing to see the live performances. Um, I remember yeah. hearing Dave on the piano and doing his performance, which was amazing. Um, mm. But to be honest, it's the after parties. They are always oh, just yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. 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 They hey. are insane. Hey. So I'm just there for the after parties, to be fair. So you've been to these after parties, you know, Stormzy, Burner Boy, all of these guys. Yeah. Ha- has any of you ever been starstruck by a celeb you bumped into at an after party? Yeah. How do you keep you cool? I remember at the after party for the um, Sony thing. Oh, yeah. Bear people were there. Tyler the Creator yeah. was there. And I was like, raw, Tyler the Creator. Like, I was shocked that he was just there. Yeah. Like, he was in. A, it was literally in the lift, like, just in the lift, like, just breaking <laughs> up. I was like, rotted. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so 
We've spoken a bit about the Brits, yes, uh, but we need to tap back into your musical ability now because we've got a game called Pass the Rhyme and I'll let Sideman explain. Gosh. Okay, so Pass the Rhyme is where we're literally going to play an instrumental and then we are going to come up with a word that all of us have to rhyme with continuing that stream. Uh, speaking of stream, the, the, the rhyming word that we're going to use and start off with is team, right? So, okay, so we're going to okay. literally play the instrumental now. Everybody has to have a go. Young T, Bugsy, Montana. Obviously, Montana, we don't, we're not going to disrespect your discography, <laughs> but we're going to let the rest of us go first. And then you just like kind of just jump in. Yeah. Or maybe we should <laughs> say, so, yeah, let's, let's run it like that. So can we have the instrumental, please? Yeah. 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 Me and Money, we're a team. <laughs> yeah. Young team, Montana, Bugsy, it's a dream. Yeah, flowing like a stream. Mm. I'm like the queen. Ooh. Cheers! Hey. I used to be a teen. And when he saw a Nala, hey. he would cream. <laughs> hey, Ooh. monkeys eat a team. I see Simon looking team. lean. Okay. I see Montana looking. I see Montana looking mean. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I kind of flopped that a little. <laughs> 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 I hey, 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 cut the cut the beat. Cut the beat. Listen. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. I didn't even hear what happened. <laughs> okay. Montana I... calling me lean did a lot for me. <laughs> so I was trying to process that. In processing that, I stumbled I, over my words. I hear that, I hear that. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, you know, you you know that song? Beat, I get so beat. weak in mm. the knees, I can hardly speak. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's go in again. Young T and Bugsy, you pick a word. Okay. No, this is improvisation. I'd okay. written some words down on that one. <laughs> <laughs> How about shine? Shine, shine. okay, yeah, let's shine's go, good. Let's go. I love the way you shine. Ooh. Mm, you sparkle in like the wine. Okay. Yeah, get it on Amazon Prime. Okay, I'm Cheers. just trying to get mine. Come Montana. on, Montana, you got this. Montana, that's my slime. Cheers. Montana, that's my slime. <laughs> hey. Go on, take that, take that. Can I go? Take that, yeah. Take yeah. That. <laughs> Bugsy looking fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I hope history will be kind. Okay. Yeah, mm. when I secure the wine. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like Buster okay. with a rhyme. Mm. Money is mm. time. Okay. Got mountains to climb. <laughs> hey. Bend your back, bend your okay. spine. Okay. Had the flu like the Ooh. swine. She burning up my line. Montana. Okay. I have no more, sorry. <laughs> okay, DJ, rewind. <laughs> DJ rewind. It's good, it's, rewind. It's good that we stopped there because my next one was going to be to say we can't sing Bump and Grind. So I guess we should have some shit. <laughs> Oi, you know you hear about sneak disses. Uh, yes. Montana, you yeah. did a sneak flirt yes. with, uh, with Young T. I, I thought yeah, to myself, no, I've like given that. too many compliments this, this podcast, so I'm not it's, doing it it's anymore. A, <laughs> it's a different kind of indirect. <sighs> Guys, on that bombshell, we are now going to release you into the wild. We're going to see you on May the 11th for the 2021 Brit Awards. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. And boys, wishing you the best of luck. Fingers crossed. You. And you're a winner Thank in our you. eyes. Yeah, good yeah, luck. Man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you for being us. on, man. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. So, Montana, Young Team Bugsy, thank you so much for joining us. I have been Munya. I have been Sideman, something that I've always been. Um, and this has been the Brits Top Table Podcast with Mastercard. See you later. See ya.